Dan Ray's long career in the natural stone industry has been marked by outstanding vision, thoughtful leadership, and unwavering commitment to promoting the benefits of natural stone as the material of choice. After 45 years at Cold Spring, he has announced plans for retirement. What an opportune time to honor him as the 2022 recipient of the McGlory Award for Lifetime Achievement. Patrick Perus, CEO of Polycore, has always been inspired by Cold Spring, studying them, and Dan Ray in particular, as models for how Polycore would be built. Whoever has met uh, Dan must have been uh, stricken by his amazing composure, his uh, quiet strength. Uh, you do not need to talk much to this guy to understand he has a solid foundation, you know, great values. For me, he's an impressive guy that does not want to impress. Perus continues. To talk about Dan Ray and uh, his amazing contribution to our industry, we, we must talk about Cold Spring. You know, Don has worked for decades at Cold Spring and He's defining Cold Spring, what Cold Spring is as much as Cold Spring has defined who he is as a leader. Dan began his natural stone industry career at Cold Spring in 1977, working in the company's manufacturing facility. He left to answer a call to duty in 1980, joining the United States Air Force, where he served as a weather specialist and provided combat field support and weapon and radar testing until 1988. During his time of service, Dan mastered many skills that would serve him well in the natural stone industry, including a strong work ethic, discipline, and understanding the science behind the work. Cold Springs CEO, Pat Alexander, reflects on how these traits influenced Dan's position within the company. He came from the bottom up, and uh, that has a special meaning to me because that's what my dad asked me to do, and he said, that will help you not ask anyone to do anything that is out of line, anything that you wouldn't do yourself. Uh, it'll give you a different perspective on, on everything. And Dan brought that perspective to every meeting that he's had in the company over the years, inside and outside the company. And I think, I think people really appreciate that. After the service, Dan returned to Cold Spring in the role of a drafter and by 2003 was promoted to Senior Vice President of Commercial Sales. Recognizing a need in the market to become a strong driver of sustainability efforts, Dan supported both the efforts of the industry and of his Cold Spring team to push the movement forward. He committed his team's resources to strategically drive the Natural Stone Council through the development of the ANSI 373 natural stone sustainability standard, ultimately completed in 2013. His leadership and support early on were instrumental in helping get the standard to where it is now and where it's going in the future. You know, 20 years before all of us, uh, Cold Spring understood the importance of developing a sustainable company, uh, respectful uh, of its environment, and, and they saw what we are all seeing today. Uh, natural stone is the future of a sustainable construction industry. And uh, back then, they must have uh, felt quite lonely, uh, being the only one uh, to carry the torch. Uh, they did it for all of us, uh, generously. Uh, we are in the process of becoming, all of us, a better industry because uh, of Dan and, and Cold Spring. Through Cold Spring's longtime memberships, Dan advocated for support of both the Marble Institute of America, MIA, and the Building Stone Institute, BSI, fully understanding the value each brought to the industry. He believed unifying the two associations would not only defend the natural stone industry from well-organized marketing campaigns touting alternative materials, but also would become a powerful force in promoting natural stone well into the future. D. Brown Incorporated President Rob Barnes recalls. When I was VP of the Building Stone Institute, uh, the MIA tendered the offer to join the two associations. At that time, Dan was also the VP of the MIA. He led well and was able to do what no one had done in two previous attempts. Without Dan's work, the Natural Stone Institute as we know it would not have become a reality. 
Dan has also been instrumental in advances made for the Checkoff Initiative to establish a federally approved research and promotional board to generate industry funding. While legislation has yet to receive congressional approval, recent attempts have come close. When the natural stone industry finally does get this important strategic initiative approved, it will be largely thanks to Dan. No volunteer leader has dedicated more time and effort to this initiative than he has. Today, Dan leads the Cold Spring team along with Greg Flint, President and COO, and George Schneff, CFO. What they say about Dan's impressive record of accomplishments is that he's done it all, from stone layout, drafting, project management, and cemetery construction, to building and memorial sales. He's also made the journey fun. Mike O'Connor, Cold Spring's Vice Chairman of the Board of Directors, considers what it is that makes Dan so impressive. I think what he does that's, that's different is he, uh, he certainly injects humor into everything. And there's nothing but things that kind of leap out at you that you have to address all, all along the way. But Dan has a, a great way of making it fun. Flint agrees. As I think about our time together, whether it's at work, whether it's just having fun, having a beer together in China, all of those experiences, we've created a friendship that will be difficult to replace. Flint and Schneff agree that one of their biggest challenges these days is to recruit future employees who possess Dan's skills, values, and leadership qualities. His leadership style has helped guide the Cold Spring organization and the industry for decades, and his teachings will help guide both well into the future. Jim Heeb, CEO of the Natural Stone Institute, appreciates Dan and believes his personal and professional success has a lot to do with Cold Spring. Making a difference in the industry, or for that part, making a difference in the world, doesn't just happen. It's because of a culture. And that culture of volunteerism that Dan displayed throughout the industry started here at Cold Spring. So I say thank you to the Cold Spring leadership team. Thank you to all of the employees at Cold Spring. And so to the Alexander family, thank you for sharing a little bit of Dan with the industry. The impacts Dan has made on his Cold Spring colleagues and others extends beyond the industry. Whether it's the work you've done in the industry, whether it's the work you've done for our company, and quite honestly, the work you've done for our community. Most people here don't even know how you helped to make our healthcare systems better, how you helped to make our libraries better. Alexander sums up Dan this way. The great work ethic and the, the fun that you brought to that, all the things that you did in the company. As you know, we go back a long way. And I just feel very fortunate that, that we've had the relationship we've had over the years and um, I'm just really proud of you for, for getting this award. About Dan's retirement, Flint shares this. We're losing Dan, the employee. Hopefully we get to keep Dan, the, the friend. Thank you for all you've done for us. Well, Dan, I do want to congratulate you. It's a monumental achievement. Having won this award myself, it's a, a very humbling moment um, to think that in our little industry, People do remember dedication and hard work, and you certainly have espoused that over all these decades. Congratulations. Congratulations, Dan, on this well-deserved reward. And I also just want to say thank you. Thank you for being a mentor to me, both personally and professionally. The wisdom that you instilled in me when thinking through anything with the industry and saying, you know, a rising tide lifts all boats is wisdom that I'll carry through with me as I move ahead. And I thank you for having that be the guiding light as you've been leading us here at Cold Spring in the industry, congratulations. Straight out of college, I took an internship at Cold Spring in the marketing department, and I was pretty well known as Dan Ray's daughter. Here I am, 10 years later, and that has a lot to do with you, and I've only ever seen the benefit of being Dan Ray's daughter. Witnessing the passion that you have for this company and its people and the industry throughout the years only made me want to be a part of something like that. I picked up on some of those traits and I can carry it out through my career and you know make you proud. I can't imagine a better way to close out such an incredible career than with the Migliori Award. You're truly deserving of it, Dad. Love you, congratulations. Congratulations to Dan Ray, the 2022 recipient of the Migliori Award for Lifetime Achievement.